Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a slightly different style of video. You may have seen my LVL lash lift procedure video. I believe it's the most popular video on my channel and if you've been following me for any length of time, you guys will know that the one salon treatment that I cannot live without is an LVL lash lift. It's very similar to an eyelash perm if you don't know what it is, but it's like a souped up version of an eyelash perm. It's a lot better, it lasts a lot longer and the reason I can't live without it is because because my eyelashes on my left eye just face downwards. It's the weirdest thing ever. You can't really see it properly right now anyway, but even if I zoom in, today you can't see it that well because I recently lifted my lashes, I wanna say about six to eight weeks ago, so they're in decent condition, but they are slightly starting to drop. And I just want to lift them again and hopefully keep them that way. But if you have seen any of my previous videos, you'll literally see that these lashes just face downwards. I can't figure out why. I think it may be like the way I sleep because I do sleep with my face kind of buried into the pillow, but kind of on this side. It's really, really weird. These lashes, I mean, they're not the longest. They're not the thickest or the flutteriest, but they're like normal. They kind of curl. And in fact, my outer lashes on my right eye curl back onto themselves. They're super curly. But an LVL lash lift is pricey. I'm quite fortunate that I found somebody in my local area who's a mobile therapist and she comes to my house and she charged, I think she's just raised her prices to £37.50 a treatment. And while that's super cheap, no one really does it for less than £50, I don't think. If you go to like a salon, if you go into central London, it can be anything up to £200. It is a pricey treatment. So I saw a couple of bloggers talking about this DIY kit that they found on Amazon. And at the time it was £20. It's actually gone down to about 15 or 17 since I bought it. I waited for them to buy the kit. I saw the results, they looked great, and I'm always conscious that my lashes don't behave like a normal person's lashes. So I was really interested to see how it worked, and oh my god, I did it on one eye, and I posted it on my Instagram story, it was incredible. Like my lashes lifted, they stayed. In fact, I think they've stayed longer than an LVL lash lift would. So I really wanted to film this video. I'm using this kit for the second time. This is what it looks like. And I wanna show you on camera how I do it. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because I don't have like a table in front of me. And like, I'm, I'm only gonna do it on one eye, but I'm doing stuff to my eye and I'm gonna try and zoom you in to show you. I should also warn you that I paid 20 pounds for this, like I said, and it has gone down to about 15, 17 pounds. But I've been warned by my friend that the first time she used it, it was amazing. That's how I felt. And she said the second time she used it, it didn't work for her. So that's a bit of a shame. I hope it does work for me. But even if I calculate it, I know it is really wasteful, but if I was to repurchase this every two months that's 15 pounds as opposed to almost 40 quid that i'd pay to get it done so in that aspect it does work out a lot more affordable but actually i have to say these instructions are really hard to follow because i don't know if it was made in england it probably wasn't and so the english isn't that great and you have to kind of know how the lvl lash lift procedure works a little bit in order to sort of figure out how to use these products so i figured it out and i thought i would share it with you guys as always the link for this will be in the description box down below i just think it's amazing like it just worked so so well i was a little bit naughty and left it on for longer than i should have but anyway whatever there are eight steps <laughs> to this this is what the box looks like when you open it up oh there we go so yeah it comes with like a cleanser and the glue, the lift pads, the tool, all sorts of things. I'm gonna quickly like familiarize myself with this again because it's been two months and I will show you how I use it. The first thing I'm gonna do actually is just use my micellar water just to remove my eye makeup. I haven't got a lot on. I'm gonna remove it just on, one eye is a bit weird, isn't it? I might just do both, let's see. I'm just gonna get rid of all any mascara I have on, any eyeshadow and concealer underneath. I'm going to take this side off just because I feel like I look weird with like one eye done and one not. There we go. I have zero eye makeup on and the first thing I'll do is just zoom you in just so that you can see my eyelashes properly. Wow, that is so zoomed in. So, as you can see, I do have what looks like one or two eyelashes 
just here and my problem is literally in the center it's really weird but in fact my eyelashes face down so much that it actually blocks my vision and because the middle few are so long sometimes they like kind of stick in like poke into my eye which is really annoying my lashes are not in bad condition at the moment i have to say considering you know some of them are starting to fall but this stuff is amazing it lasts for ages let me just clip my hair back so you can see this properly and it's out of my way so the first thing is to use the cleanser to clean off any oil dust or makeup residue and this is the cleanser, number four. I'm not gonna use that because I've literally just used my micellar water and there is no makeup on my eyelashes whatsoever. So you can skip that step if you've literally just cleansed. And my lashes are already dry from the micellar water, which is great. Step number two is, a, this is the hardest bit. It is so difficult. I don't know how to do this on camera. Apply the eye pad on the under eyelids to protect the skin from the perming lotion. These are the lift pads, which I assume that they are referring to. And this is like the tool that was in this box. Now this is the part that's really tricky to master, unless you're like trained in doing eyelash perms and things like that. I don't actually know how this sticks. I, last time was a complete fluke. So I really hope that I don't cock this up. There's all different sized widths of these pads and I just kind of took a bit of a gamble. Now last time I used quite a wide one, which I think I'm going to use again just to give me that curl because all I want is the base of my lashes to curl so the rest of them kind of just shoot up themselves. I should also point out that this is by no means perfect so if you're looking for like perfect lashes, just get them done. Um, this is like just a really cheap quick fix to like stubborn eyelashes if you want to do it yourself you can do it perfectly i think it just depends on you as a person how patient you are and how good you are at this i guess so first of all you want to somehow and i don't know how i know that my lvl lady does this but i don't know how she does it maybe like wet the back of this you want to stick this to your eyelid this did not stick on my eyelid for love nor money last time but I'm just gonna use like my finger, sorry if this is gross. So I've just, I hope you can see what I'm doing, trying to get right behind my lashes so that I don't trap them. This is the crazy part, it's just not gonna stick. How do people do this, seriously? Right, let's assume it's stuck because this is exactly what I did last time. I know I look a bit crazy, then you have to apply the glue onto your eyelashes to stick them to the pad. Again, very tricky to do. This is the um, false eyelash glue. It literally just has like a lip gloss style wand. I keep my eye closed so that I don't drip anything into my eye, that would be the worst. But you do want to try and get all of your lashes to stick as much as possible to this pad because otherwise you're kind of screwed. I don't know if you can see, but the lashes that were sticking up were actually quite easy to stick to the pad because they were already sticking up. I'm having trouble with the, actually the lashes that face downwards, which is kind of my whole issue. I just keep doing this over and over again just because I really want them to stick and try and not get the lashes to cross over. This takes a lot of patience. Can you see I've done it a million times and they've already come off. It also doesn't help that this pad isn't secure, I'm not gonna lie. So, you leave this glue on for about a minute. I feel like I've done that because it took me about 10 minutes to get them to stick in all honesty. Then you use number one, which is the perm lotion, on the eyelash and cover the plastic film for eight to 12 minutes. So this is the perm lotion. I realize I look so ridiculous right now. It's because the stupid pad just isn't sticking. Um, obviously when you're doing this at home, you're not gonna be talking and it's easier to do it like when you have one eye shut. But I'm trying to see if you guys can see what I'm doing and also look in the mirror. But this is the perm lotion. Oh, it stinks. I'm gonna get a cotton bud, 
just get a nice big splodge of it on here and then just do the same thing and be so careful not to get any into your eye as you can see more of my eyelash hairs are actually sticking to this thing now the more products you have to add the easier it is. Don't worry if you don't get it, like get them all to stick with the glue the first time around. Now I'm just gonna leave this to sit for eight to 12 minutes and come back to it and show you the next step. Okay, it's been 12 minutes, I left the solution on and the next step is to use this number two product which is called Fixation, it's the fixing lotion. And again, it's used in exactly the same way. I'm gonna grab a clean cotton bud, open it up, get a big splodge of it and just apply it in the same way to my eyelashes and this is the bit that I left on for a little bit longer last time maybe about 15 minutes so I think I might do the same this time round. There we go, let me come a little bit closer so that you can see. I've just applied this really generously and quite a lot of it just to sort of coat all of the lashes. Don't worry that this part of the pad is like lifting up because my eyelashes are still stuck to it so I should get like a decent-ish enough curl I hope. This one obviously when it's done will be a lot curlier than that eye but also it will drop out sort of slightly over the next couple of days. But yeah, this is what it looks like and again I have to leave this to set for 8 to 12 minutes. I'm going to do just that. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. There we go. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been about 15 minutes to be precise. I've just grabbed a clean cotton pad. I'm gonna fold it in half and just brush this stuff upwards just to get it all off, like all the residue off my eyelashes. Okay, so the pad is feeling quite loose at the moment, but I have managed to get as much of that fixing lotion and other stuff off as possible then I'm going to move on to this number three bottle it's called nutrition and this is just to nourish the lashes try and keep this on if you can if you have a better way of like sticking it to your eye or if you're like a trained lash person then please leave me a comment down below and let me know how this sticks onto your eye but I've just opened up this nourish thing again got a clean cotton bud just dipped it in this is very liquidy this one I'm just going to coat my eyelashes in the same way and just brush this on. I can already see that like they've all pretty much lifted. Obviously the few at the end I couldn't quite get to haven't lifted, but I have such sparse eyelashes that you don't even notice those to be honest. I don't even put mascara on them. So for me, it's completely fine. Obviously if you have super long, thick, fluttery lashes, you may want to try and secure the pad a bit better. There we go, I'll leave that on for a couple of seconds. Then I'll just flip this cotton bud over to the clean side and go into that cleanser. And this is just to get rid of all the residue and just clean up the eyelash. And then I'll remove the pad and show you what it looks like. That wasn't too difficult. Wow, I'm so impressed with this. This is amazing. Let me try and zoom you in just to give you a closer look. I don't know if you can see now, but my eyelashes are all what I would call perfect. They are literally all facing upwards and they've got a really nice curl to them. And these few are a little bit annoying just because they didn't quite catch on to the thing when I stuck them on, but just look at the difference that has made. So impressed. Oh, this is amazing. So there we have it. I'm so impressed with the way that my lashes turned out. And I have to say, I don't think that they're that different to the first time around that I did it. So maybe my friend just got like a really bad batch or something. This has worked just as well. The proof will be in how long it lasts, but I don't see it not working for whatever reason. I'm really, really happy with this. It now makes this eye just feel quite inadequate to be honest because these lashes like I said are completely fine they do sort of curl a little bit when I apply mascara but for me getting LVL lash lift done isn't to make my lashes look longer or like look like I've got falsies on or anything it can obviously do that for people because it just lifts them it's like a push-up bra for your lashes but for me personally it's just to stop them from like covering my vision and like going into my eye because I do actually poke my eye and I wear contact lenses and they get very irritated and so I'm so happy with the way this has turned out and you know I've got two uses out of this kit that I paid 20 quid for it's now about 15 pounds and I reckon you would get at least probably 10 applications out of this if not more so that's like 
pound fifty in application. I mean, obviously it takes time, it takes patience. The hardest bit is the beginning, just sticking your lashes to that damn pad and trying to like not get the pad to move. I know my friends have had problems with that too. But I mean, come on, for like one pound fifty in application, if you get ten uses that this or more, that's pretty good going. You're saving at least forty quid up to £200 a session. So I'm so, so happy with this. I would strongly urge you to try it out. It is actually called an eyelash perming kit. So it isn't an LVL, just in case you wondered, but it is like a similar, I recognize the tool that, that my therapist normally uses on me. So I feel like it's just a like a knockoff type version of that. But if you have any kind of problems like mine if your eyelashes don't curl for me personally if you've seen my other two videos on lvl lashes you'll know that my lashes just don't curl i've tried hair straighteners i've tried heating up the curlers with a hair dryer like a lighter like all sorts of awful things and while this is probably not the safest to use yourself like you have to be so careful don't get it into your eye and things like that the other methods i've tried are a lot more dangerous and i wouldn't recommend any of them <laughs> so yeah i love this kit i'm definitely obviously going to keep hold of it and use it again and this pad also just to point out you can just wash it and reuse it and all you need is this kit and a few cotton buds and maybe a cotton pad or so to take your makeup off. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the results. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you have super annoying lashes like me, then let me know how you sort of fix that in the comments down below. But yeah, for me, this is working really well at the moment, so I'm super happy with the results. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what sort of content you'd like to see from me next. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it would mean so, so much to me. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.